Hello students, my name is Kritika. I am your computer digital mentor. Today we are going to learn about some interesting chapters of computer. So let's start with our sixth chapter that is working with MS Paint. So students, before we start our chapter, let's have a quick look on some lesson objectives. MS Paint and its features, using shapes and select tool, copying an object, resize the picture, opening an old drawing, starting MS Paint, moving an object, flipping the picture, saving a drawing. So students, now we have some warm up questions. Our first question is, what are the copy and paste option in the clipboard used for? Second, which tab do you use to select tools in paint? Third, which option do you use to flip the picture in paint? answer the following questions in the given blank. So let's start our chapter. Microsoft Paint is a simple raster graphic editor that has been included with all versions of Microsoft Windows. The program can be in color mode or two color black and white but these are no gray scale mode. It is free to download. So our first topic is features of MS Paint. MS Paint is used to create, edit and print pictures. We can draw different objects like pictures, cartoons, maps, etc. MS Paint is also used to view and edit scanned pictures. It provide image, menu, give users several commonly used tools that affect the overall image. It allow users to easily forward an open file via email. So students, let's jump to our next topic that is starting MS Paint. So student, how can we start an MS Paint? Let's learn about it. To start MS Paint, follow these steps. Click on start button. Click on all programs option from the menu. Search Microsoft Office from sub menu and click it. Now click on MS Paint. Search MS Paint from the sub menu and click it. Start button, then all apps, then accessories, then paint. So our next topic is using tools. How can we use tools of MS Paint? Let's learn about it. We can work in paint program with the help of different tools present in tools and shape group on the home tab as per user required. After selecting tool, Move the mouse pointer to the drawing area. Now the pointer changes into cross symbol. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the location where shape to be drawn. So now let us learn about different tools. Let's learn about the different tools of MS Paint. So our first tool is pencil tool. This tool allows you to draw lines by clicking and dragging your computer mouse. Next, text tool. This tool is used to add text with the images. Next, eraser tool. This allow you to erase small areas of the image by dragging the mouse pointer over the part you want to eliminate. Next, fill tool. When you select an area of your image with the left mouse button, the foreground color that is color 1 will fill with the color when you select an area of your image with the right mouse button, the background that is color 2 of the image will fill with a color. So our next tool is pick tool. The button with image of an eyedropper is the pick color tool. This allows you to select an object whose color you want to copy. Now magnifier. Magnifier tool allows you to zoom in and out of an image. Now we have shapes tool. This tool is used to add various shapes. In the drawing, different ready-made shapes are available in the shapes group. So students, in this picture you can see the interface of MS Paint program. So students, our next topic is drawing rectangle. 
to draw a rectangle follow these steps if you want to draw a rectangle in ms paint you have to follow these steps click on home tab now click on rectangle tool from shape group select the line thickness and color of the rectangle from size button and color group respectively drag the pointer to drawing area now pointer turns into cross sign hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in the drawing area a rectangle shape will be appear release the left mouse button when desired rectangle size is reached in same manner can draw other shapes such as circle curve triangle and etc by selecting respective tool from shape group so students our next topic is select tool select tool is used for various operations like copy and cut we can select the whole or a part of the drawing using the select tool let us learn about the select tool here so students now we have rectangular select tool this tool is used to select an object in a rectangular form to apply this tool follow these steps if you want to apply the rectangular tool you have to follow these steps drop picture of a fish click on the rectangular selection tool to select the object place the mouse pointer just outside the area to be selected now click and hold down the left mouse button and then drag around the enter boundary of the object release the mouse button when it is selected completely after that you can copy and cut according to requirement now students let's jump to our next tool that is using free form selection tool this tool is used to select the part of an image in an irregular shape this part can be dragged to some other location to apply this follow these steps Select free from selection tool place the pointer on the drawing area select the area of drawing and drag it to desired location now students let's jump to our next topic that is moving an object to move a part of an object from one place to another follow these steps if you want to move any object from one place to another place you have to follow these steps draw a picture of house or open existing drawing select the part of drawing using select tool a rectangle with dotted lines will appear around the picture click on the cut option in clipboard group on the home tab selected part will be removed from the screen as user required now click on the paste option the option that you have cut will reappear on the top left corner of the drawing area on your screen now place the mouse pointer on it and drag it to the desired location and release the mouse button so students now let's jump to our next topic that is copying an object copy option is used to make a duplicate copy of an object to copy a part of a drawing perform following steps if you want to copy any drawing or shape you have to follow these steps make a new drawing or open an existing drawing select the drawing using select tool select copy command on the home tab click on paste command in clipboard group in home tab a duplicate copy of the object appears on the top left corner of the drawing area we can move the picture to any location so students now our next topic is flipping an object rotate is easy enough to group it turn image around in 90 degree flip means to rotate or turn the picture horizontally or vertically to flip a part of an object perform the following steps if you want to flip or rotate any image you have to follow these steps click on the select tool and select the picture select the rotate option in the image group on the home tab a list of option will be displayed for changing the rotation or flipping 
select desired option from displayed list and click on OK button. The selected effect is applied to the selected part. Now students, our next topic is resize the picture. How you will resize a picture? Let's learn about it. The size of picture can be increased or decreased horizontally or vertically. To resize of an object, do the following steps. If you want to resize any object or image, you have to follow these steps. Make a copy of image you want to resize. Right click the images copy. Select open with. Now click paint. Now click resize. Make sure percentage has a black dot next to it. Check the maintain aspect ration box. Now resize your image. Now click OK. Doing so will apply your change to the images. Now save your image. So students our next topic is saving drawing. After finishing and making all the changes of your drawing and coloring now, how will you save your drawing? Let's learn about it in detail. After finishing the drawing, we need to save it for future use. To save a drawing, follow these steps. First, click on File tab. Now, select the Save option from the drop-down menu. Now, the Save as dialog box will be appear on screen. Give the name to a file in the name box. Now click on save button then your file will be saved. So students after saving your picture now how will you open an old drawing you have made on MS Paint let's learn about it. So our next topic is opening an old drawing. To open the saved file follow these steps. First click on file tab. Now Select open option, the open dialog box will appear. Select the file name that you want to open from the list of the files. Now click on open button. Then your saved file will be open. So students, what we have learned in this chapter, let's have a quick look on some key points. MS Paint is program used to draw pictures and paint with the different colors. We can use paint to view and edit the scanned pictures. A picture can be rotated horizontally and vertically by some degree of an angle. Now, the size of picture can be increased or decreased horizontally and vertically. So students, this is it from this chapter. Soon we are going to learn about many interesting chapters of computer. Till then, revise what we learned today. Thank you.